So I mentioned libraries in my previous video, um, but I didn't really explain what they were. So basically what libraries are, are collections of a certain type of file from specific folders that you can set. So for example, there's movies, TV shows, music, photos, and other videos, which are what I set up the folders for in the previous video. And you don't just have to have one library of a certain type, you can have multiple libraries of a certain type. So for example, if you want to have movies that you might like, you can make a movies folder for yourself. And if there's one that perhaps your friend would like, let's say a new Plex server, you can make a folder specifically for him. But I'm going to go how to, into how to do that later. So I'm going to go ahead and just make a folder for movies. So I'm just going to just click movies. It puts the name as movies by default, but you can change it to whatever you want and change the language if you want to. And then go next. And here you can add the folders to your library. So these are the folders that Plex is going to look at to um, pick up the files that are going to go into your library. So I'm going to browse and I'm going to go to desktop and I'm going to go to Plex server and I'm going to add the movies folder from there. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the folder from Plex server too. So we're going to add it. And there's um, some advanced settings here too. So you can enable um, cinema trailers that played before the items, which um, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can have that on if you want. And there's the option to enable a video preview trailer, which you should do. And yeah, there's a few other options here too. So you can just go through them and see what you want. And then once you're done, you click add to library. So it's going to find the folders and it's going to start pulling down metadata. So this is these are just the folders as they are. But as you should see soon, um, once this finishes loading, it'll start adding in the thumbnails. It will start generating a background for the movie and it will just make it look all nice. So I'm going to leave it going and I'm going to come back once um, everything's been downloaded. So as you can see, they're pretty much all done now, other than The Legends of Tarzan. It's just pulling its poster down. So for example, if you go into Fast and Furious, you can see that it pulls in a background and by the way if you don't see this you can just click the hide or show artwork at the top here so it's going to show artwork um, which is called a background it's going to show a poster as well as all this metadata so some of the metadata is local one um local metadata so for example this and this which shows if it's surround sound or not and what resolution it is subtitles can actually be pulled from the internet through agents but i'm going to show you how to do that in the future not in this video and there's a description for it too, as well as the cast and some other films that might be under action. So it does pull a lot of information from the internet, which is great because you can just start off with a file and it'll pull down all of this. You can actually change a lot of this information. So you can change the um, poster, the poster here, you can change the background. You can, for example, alter the studio name for some reason if you want to alter it. You can alter the description and things like that. So you can alter some of that, but I'm going to be showing you how to do that in future tutorials, as I said. But for now, let's just leave it as it is. So let's go back. And as you can see, the um, Legend of Tarzan's posters now down. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to add TV shows. So it's pretty much the same thing that you do. You go to TV shows, you just um, change the name if you want, and then next. And you browse for the folders, so it's going to be under desktop, Plex server, and then TV shows. And you want to make sure that you add to the um, top file because it's going to pull in whatever folders are underneath it. So you just click add and you click add to library and it's going to start pulling in the metadata for those two. So again, I'll come back once it's done. So as you can see, the metadata is loaded for both of them. So if I go into the middle, you can see there's a background as well as a poster, kind of like um, for movies. But if you go down, there's the description and the studio. But instead of showing the um, episodes here, there's seasons. So you can have multiple seasons for TV shows. So um, yeah, they'll, they'll all show up here under different seasons. So if you click on the season, then go down. You can see that there's the episodes here. And it actually pulls down the name of the episode. So you don't have to put it in yourself. So um, if you click on that, then it's going to show... Um, a description of the um, episode itself as well as the video quality and the audio quality for that particular episode and there's also subtitles too if you've got subtitles but again you can pull those down from the internet so um, yeah that's how TV shows are organized and if I and the thumbnail here is actually a thumbnail that's um, taken down from um, a website such as TVDB or something like that so yeah, that's TV shows. It's going to be the same for Simpsons too. So if I go there, 
and there as you can see there's the episodes right there so now let's do music so we're gonna go back here go to music um, leave the name as it is um, bells for the folder so we're just gonna go to desktop Plex server and then we're gonna go to music and add it and then we can go next and yeah saying there's some things the extra things that you can get if you've got Plex pass but we're just gonna create a basic library because it's good enough so we're just gonna do that you can also import from iTunes if you want so whatever music you've got in iTunes is gonna be just pulled into Plex and you can also change a few other things here I'll leave you to look through that so we're gonna to add to library and then as you can see it's pulling down metadata again so again once it finishes I'll come back so it's actually finished now um, you can't tell because these two didn't bring down a picture but you can manually add one through poster here but I'm gonna go out into how to do that a bit later but for now if you go into Ed Sheeran you can see that it shows a description of him um, that you can extend as well as any albums that you've got under here and it actually shows any tour dates that are coming up too so we're going to go into this album and as you can see it shows the track that's under the album so yeah it's organized well like that you can also change it from artist to album so it'll show that instead or you can just do tracks so it'll show all of the individual tracks so yeah that's um, how you do music pretty simple again um, we didn't actually have to put down that it's Mario, Josie and Peter Hollins. It just found that itself because it found the song. The same for the Sam Shui song. So, um, yeah, Plex is pretty intelligent. Even if you don't put all of the artists in, it's probably still going to find the song. Even if it's some lesser known songs like these two. To finish it off, we're going to do personal videos and personal photos. So these are going to be really quick. You just go into photos for personal photos. You press next, you find the um, folder, so personal pictures, add, and you can also change some advanced things if you want, but you're probably not going to have to. And yeah, it's pretty simple. I just added one picture to this just to kind of show how it works. Um, you don't have to change the name of it, but it obviously isn't going to change the name for you. It's not going to pull down any metadata from anywhere. It is just going to pretty much show the picture as it is. So if you click on it, it's going to show the picture. It's just a picture of my two cats. Well, two of my cats. And yeah, it's just going to show the pictures. It is pretty simple. So um, it's the same for videos, pretty much. You can just call it personal videos or leave it as other videos if you want. You want to make sure that you put personal videos under other videos, though. You don't want to put it under movies because it's just not going to work well under movies. It's not going to generate any thumbnails for them. So you want to do that and you want to do next. Then you want to browse um to where your personal videos are so i'm gonna go to personal videos add and then um again you, you can change some of these if you want then add to library and it's gonna um yeah just pull in the thumbnail so this is just a video that i did for um this is just part of um the video i did for the philips hue video that i did a bit ago so again, if you click on it, it's going to show a background and a poster that you can change if you want. And it's going to show the video quality and stuff. And then you can just go ahead and play it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for creating libraries. That's how you go about creating libraries. Um, something I didn't actually mention, but I just clicked on before is if you click this home button, it's going to show you this kind of home view, which shows all of your TV shows, movies. It shows pretty much everything that you've got across your libraries. You can actually... Um, say which libraries you want to show or just filter them here but again I'm going to go more in depth in that in future videos but yeah for now that's pretty much it that's how you go about making libraries again if you have any questions be sure to leave them down in the comments down below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible so yeah um, I'll see you all in the next Plex video hope you all have a great day bye